right, coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Conor McGregor and Shale Sonnen. All right, so here he is, one of the better ground and pound guys we have in the sport here at present. There's just an efficiency and an accuracy to the way he approaches the ground strikes. No wasted motion out of this guy. Oh, it's, it's an art form, John. It's the way that he goes at his opponents, and the moment they hit the mat, he secures it. Oh, it's on. He doesn't rush. He takes his time. He knows that it does not take much in order to finish a fight. So he'll find his posture. You can't, he doesn't waste time with his head in the chest, just punch him. He finds posture. Once he finds posture, he can get momentum to land the big strike, then he moves position. And then he goes and he finds another strike. Before long, you see his opponent face swelling. You see the eyes all split open and beat. It's truly, truly amazing to watch him and watch his approach to ground and pound. And great cardio allows him to stay heavy. We've seen a lot of fighters just struggle to buck him off. We'll see how it goes tonight. Well, the stars have aligned, and the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history is back tonight. The former two-division champion, Conor McGregor. As such, the celebs are out. Let's see what type of version of Conor McGregor shows up here tonight. Usually when Conor McGregor shows up, it's usually his best right. version. He's a guy that takes a great amount of pride in preparing for the event. He says it's a fight every single time he sees his opponent, from the press conference to the weigh-ins to the stare-down. He is ready to show his opponent his best self every time he's in their face. And not only does he do that in the buildup, when he gets into the octagon, with all the ability that he possesses, he's able to do that same thing. That's why he's been so successful and has gone from the top, from the bottom, to the top of the UFC in such a short time. Truly one of the elite strikers in UFC history. Moves every needle you would like him to move. And as you said, his work ethic, his preparation truly is legendary. Let's see if he has put in the right work in advance of this showcase fight here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height, but the same reach. How about some Bruce Buffer? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, 14 losses, and one draw. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Westland, Oregon, Kill Sonnen! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor! All right, grip through the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, and have fun. You ready? So here we go with round one, and when you have what looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler, it doesn't always play out that way, but given what these fighters said to us on Thursday, the game plans seem pretty clear. They're very clear game plans, but which one of them is able to implement the game plan most effectively? The grappler will try to get forward, get close, try to secure takedowns, 
He's even... Oh! Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Again, they clinch. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Chael. Put your hands up high. Right hand upstairs. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, nice elbow there in the clinch. Oh, nice strike by McGregor there. I mean, Conor McGregor, level change, the leg, finish the takedown. Great job. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off this back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Beautiful strike. Oh! Oh! Huge knee to the head. He could be in trouble here. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big. Straight left. Such a fast leg kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. That's a big hook. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Conor McGregor. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Already closes the distance, gets a single collar tie. Nice punch lands over the top. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. I am here transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. McGregor's got his back now. Oh, all right, he's got the full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy. He keeps his weight down. He really does grind on you with his, with his bottom half. He doesn't do anything with his arm. His arms are free to punch. He's collecting you with his hips and his legs, making you make a determination as to whether or not you want to get grounded pounded into the mat or if you're going to give your back up where he will then start to chase chokes. A lot of energy expenditure defensively if you are the bottom fighter in this equation. Sonic gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Slips. Got the single collar tie. Oh, you can hear the thwack from here as he lands another leg kick in DC. Now we're seeing visible damage as that leg starts to redden up. And now you start to see the damage. And now you start to see the limping of the opponent. Watch as he gets kicked in the leg, he's turning away. He can't even get any pressure on his front leg anymore. He is beat up. That leg has been tenderized by this young man. Timing the shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. All right, there's the clapper. Ten seconds to go. Oh, single collar tie here. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round. We see a lot to like on both sides. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round.
See how he chooses to defend here. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Back mount now. Sonnet's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hips, push him away, and try to escape this very, very dangerous position. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, McGregor's got the full mount. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, McGregor's has got full mount now. Just over two minutes to go. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Gets up again here, but hurt. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Sonnet gets caught with that punch. Nice right punch followed by a left. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Single collar tie now. Oh, nice. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. All right, so the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right, I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. Big leg kick lands. Lands the left punch now, followed by a right. Quick entry here. Nice single leg entry. Rotates ahead of the side to a high crotch. Oh. oh my god, he switched the lock to a high crotch, rotated him, and took him for a ride. That was a big takedown. Oh, and he connects there pretty nice. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt back. Both 
Butterfly's landing in a pretty decent clip. Oh, he might be out. Oh, straight right. Massive knee to the ground. Why, so there was the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of the It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. Not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Outstanding kick there by Sonnen. A little single collar tie there. That was a thudding leg kick. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Big shot lands. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. And they separate. <laughs> Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Guard. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Ground and pound strike there now. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, he's no stranger to being in this position. Strong work from the top here by Chael. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Chael's back inside control. Under three minutes now to go in round three. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by McGregor. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by McGregor. Under two minutes now to go in the round. Oh, he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. All of that body weight on his opponent. He's got all the weight on the upper body. His feet are free to do whatever. But the arm stuck between the legs. He is now going to start dropping hammer fists. He's going to start dropping elbows. This is one of the nastiest positions in all of fighting. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Hey, scramble, get up. Scramble, scramble, get up. Nice. Both fighters get up now. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Stuff to take down, no problem. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tight clinch. Nice kick. Checks the leg kick. The right hook to the body. And they separate. Big 
big punch lands over the top. I was gonna follow this one. Clipped him with the right hand there. Ooh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Oh! He didn't like that left hand. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left hook there! Oh, misses with the jab. That right hand landed. We'll see if they can get him physically, mentally back into the fight. What a moment at the end of that round. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. You ready? You ready? Let's go fight, man. just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he has... Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt! A finish could come here at any time. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Body kick right under the elbow. Get those nice kick landed there by McGregor. Real quick leg kick. And he landed the right hand there. Oh! Oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Vicious uppercut to the head. Beautiful uppercut. Shades of Mike Tyson on punch out back in the day. You could take one of those uppercuts or you would go down. Mike Tyson or maybe it was Super Sandman. One of those guys just had a crazy uppercut. Trying to establish that jab once again. Beautiful head kick. Oh, well, you can't enter the pocket there unprotected. You got to figure out a way to get your guard up a little bit. Another kick lands to the head there. And let's see if he and his corner can make the proper adjustments defensively to avoid any further head kicks here in this fight. Try to establish that jab. Punch over the top. And there comes... Oh! And just like that, the fight is over! shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, six seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout. a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.